You can see in a structure here, we've got our handling parts. Under that, we get pick parts. And there's a bunch of items at the second level here. Right, they all drop under the uh, handling parts. And then when we get into the third level here, under pick parts, you can see I've got all these options here. Now, there is a limitation enforced upon us by Excel. So you can see if I go here, I go to the chart roll-up, and I say, here's my handling parts, and I go to the pick parts. You see, it breaks it all out here. And uh, how many are here? Maybe 10 or 12, whatever. Uh, but there is a limitation the way we're creating these charts dynamically. Uh, we're doing it through uh, Excel and building up the strings uh, dynamically means that we are actually limited to a maximum number of pie slices and that number is 17. So what happens is you get a video time study that all the activities may be in one level. You can see all of these activities here. I believe I've got about 19 uh, items here only because I know I've got 19 elements here and they're all unique. So if I go to my roll up here, activity roll up, I'm actually only going to get two of the sheets that I usually get. And you will get a message on the roll-up sheet here. And uh, he's, he's building them up. These are the video links in here. Um, but here you see too many elements for pie chart roll-up. So notice here in this particular roll-up, I only get the roll-up and I get the activity detail. I am missing the other ones that I got over here. You can see here, here's a roll-up. Here's the activity detail. And in here we have the chart roll-up and the value added roll up as well here. So when you are grouping your elements, uh, when you're setting up your structure for the roll ups, uh, be sure and keep it down to let's say 15 or so choices under each level so that you can uh, see them actually being reported right here. This is a limitation of forced upon us by Excel, but as you can see, if you do that, you're going to get some very nice output here.